Hey, Mr. Lee, it's Alice Venter with Keller Williams. Um, I am just down the road from D4, wrote the property on D4. In a D4. quarter mile, turn left onto D4 Road. And, um, and I just wanted to give you an idea of what the area looked like. Fairly rural. Um, but uh, I am just coming up pretty close. But I'm, I'm still a couple of minutes out. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. The D4 Road. Okay, so I just crossed over the highway, turning on D4. Much Continue better. on D4 Road for three quarters of a mile. Much better um, area than the house that's over on Price Street, so. Still got a little ways to go. look too bad. I don't see really a lot of uh, derelict properties. Which is always the problem when you see something that's been on the market for a while. Uh, and I will say that um, the reason, I think I probably already mentioned this to you, but the reason this hasn't sold yet is it has to be cash. Um, just because it is a single wide a quarter mile turn left onto Davis Road um, And those are all nearly impossible to get financed so Looks like there's a little bit of logging going on Which Take the next left onto Davis Road? could mean that a housing development is going up. I know um, as a city council member, we've had a lot of um, growth in this area because of the battery factory. And then I spoke with... Continue on Davis Road for three quarters of a mile. Someone out of the governor's office and they were talking about... Um, and with our um, economic development committee, they were talking about another battery factory and um, an electric vehicle manufacturer coming in soon. So, this area has been targeted by developers because they want to build homes for workforce. Yeah, see? There's some stuff being built over there. But so far, so good. It's looking like it's a pretty decent area. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Sunset Road. Still got a couple minutes, so I'm going to pause. Continue for three quarters of a mile. Okay, so this is Sunset Road. Also still pretty decent so far. your destination. Eh, there's kind of some cruddy stuff there. That's to be expected. Hmm. Oh, I know exactly where I'm at. I sold that house right there. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this is a pretty decent place. Okay. Where is it? 736. You have arrived. Oh, I think Google's playing games again. Hold on. Wrong place. I was wrong. Here it is. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a little bit better than I expected. So I'm just going to take us out of here and walk around the outside and see if I can't find a crawl space somewhere to get into. And then I'll do a second video of the inside because I have to use the phone to get us inside okay let's see so I don't see any gutters sun's probably shining in this let me see if I can there we go I don't see any gutters but they do have one little sh short gutter here on the front of the porch 
I think this is the, um, yeah, metal siding. Yeah, it is. And this down here, oh, that's metal too, actually. So that's good. It's not vinyl. It's not in the best of shape, but it's also not too bad. Windows are looking good. I don't see any rot or any weird stuff. Those little awnings kind of help a little bit. It is odd to me. Oh, hmm. So you may not be able to see this in the video, but they've got this, what they call, as I understand, they call it a beauty band right here. Um, and it looks like there might be a little bit of rotten wood back up there at the top, which is probably why they got a new roof and some flashing. Um, looks like this little building here is included. I'll have a look at that in a second. Okay. The lot is really flat. That's good. I'm not sure why they got this berm here in the sort of like a hill. Here's the back, so no HVAC, that's right. Um, I remember the agent also told me there's no HVAC, but there are window units, and there are heaters inside of one of them as a wood-burning stove. And I can see, yeah, I can see the chimney stack up there. Here's the other window unit. Little back deck is not much, um, but it's intact, it's not rotten. In fact, it looks like it's fairly, the boards have been replaced fairly recently. Um, and this is, I think it was 14 by 70 feet long. So it's not super small. You got that little building. This lot is great. And I bet you, so the neighbor doesn't look too bad either, but I'll bet you during the summer all that fills in, you won't even be able to see that back there. Here's the other neighbor. <clears throat> okay, so this is another reason why it wouldn't be able to be financed is it still has the hitch attached. That might up there be taking some rain in. That flashing needs to be down a little bit more. But anyway, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's another one. Two more window units in the front. Let's see if I can back up and look at the roof a little bit. Eh, can't really tell much, but it's brand new. Um, let's go up on the porch and try to get in. Oh, wait. I was going to look for a crawl space. Hang on. It's probably... One of these little panels that lift out. Uh huh. Here we are. Bet you this is it right here. Mm. I don't think I can get in there without possibly messing something up. Let's see if there's another one. Trying to see if there's like a vapor barrier in there, insulation falling down, or what have you, but I don't, I don't see a way in. Oh, except for maybe, yeah, so under the deck, and yeah, insulation's falling down. Nope, no vapor barrier. I don't know if you can, there you go. You can see a little bit. Uh, how do we darken this up? So, uh, you know, I mean, it, it is an older mobile home. This also, um, this black top was obviously added not that long ago. Looks like it's in really great shape. Okay. Alright, everything looks good and solid. Oh, I thought that was mold. It's not. 
This is probably a good 10 by 10 porch, maybe? No. 8 by 10. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to get us inside.